Got a little something different going on. It's because I want to talk about directional swipes. Now, I did cover this. I kind of did like a brief little tutorial. And that was more just digging into it, seeing what we could do. But I kind of wanted to do this just to show how I'm using it and kind of tooting that typical horn that I do about contextual actions, what feels normal, what feels fluid. Because I feel like I'm, I'm doing some fun, cool things, but also some people seem to be struggling with getting the swipes working. So I just kind of wanted to show you what I'm doing. So, like right there. So we have a little, you know, I can toggle the in-game chat. That's just a hold, hold of the bumper. It's about... You know, you can see, I kind of wanted to zoom in here just so you can see my thumb. And I feel the haptic, but really I found it's better to go from the middle or farther from the opposite way you're swiping. So if I'm swiping left, I go towards the right, swipe a little bit, I feel the flick. There, that's kind of hard to see. Down is my flashlight which also feels really nice and natural while I'm run, you know, running around in the game. I look down, I flick on my light. Flick down, turn it off. I was debating having it even be like a flick up for the light switch down to turn it off, but then I would lose my up action, which is... inspect my gun. Let's get out into the into the light. Yeah, so I hold, I flick up, and then I'm inspecting it. Let's flick back down, turn that light off. The other part that people seem to be struggling a little bit with is the gyro. So I have down is scan, which I don't think yeah, that's not gonna do anything on in first person. So I full pull. Flick up, that's checking. Let's switch back to the pistol. So it's really... It's not a far flick. And then... I'm gonna wanna let go of it, otherwise... That's just, that's hitting tab, I can feel the thunk. That's hitting reload again. You know, you can end up spamming it. it you just, you want to get into the practice of flick it, let go. Full pull, flick, let go. And that, it feels really nice. You know, so we're in here, we're firing some. We full pull, we flick up, feel it, reloads. Doesn't take much. Like, I actually turn the sensitivity down quite a bit. Like, if you crank it up all the way, you barely have to move. I want there to be a little bit of a whoop, 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 whoop. Left and right on the gyro? Ah, that hasn't felt too great to me. I've been doing it mainly, mainly just for up to reload. You know, like, I can show you the, uh, the down to scan. Well, like, you know, even for this, okay, let me turn it off. If I flick up, that will also be flight ready. So I full pull, flick up. Okay, I full pull, 
flick down, then let go. Full pull, flick down, let go. Full pull, flick down, let go. I think it's just really getting that, the time, like the discipline of flick, let go of the full pull. Like you're just doing a quick little whoop and then get out of it. But it, it ends up feeling really, really nice. So let's get back out. Because I wanted to talk a little bit more about Ma Immersion. That's what I keep kind of rattling on about. Okay, well, before I do that, but yeah, the really, the thing that I wanted to... The thing that I just wanted to really stress was just because somebody pointed out that they couldn't do the gyro flick in my cyberpunk config. And that's pretty much using the same settings. So you just full pull, flick up. It's like a little, you know, whoop, whoop, it's really that action, but... On a full pull, then I'll let go. Full pull. Boop. But now for other things, for the immersion, like I'm talking about, so I have, you know, down for light, up is inspect. Toggling the chat, which is on the left side of the screen, that's kind of why I did that, so it feels pretty normal. Hey, look at that. Wipe my visor. That feels pretty natural, too. As he comes up and wipes towards the right. That's just a glitch that he always ends up, like, doubling or tripling the animation. But then also... So I have left. That toggles this Moby Glass. But you hold it, and then flick up, is the star map. Flick up again to close it. This is while I'm holding this left stick left, which is a D-pad left. Down closes it, or could open it back up. And this is also, like, kind of trying to think of an extension of the controller to the actions in the game, it's all on his left wrist. So I'm holding this left stick left, like I'm pulling my arm up. I flick to the left. That is the Moby Glass version of the chat. So that was trying to mimic this chat toggle. You know, it's like both of them are, this is either my HUD chat. I hold left, click left. That's my Moby Glass chat. If anyone's been, <laughs> been following me recently in my Discord, I've been going a little crazy. I'm a little obsessed with this particular profile and just streamlining it and constantly tweaking it. But I'm feeling like I got it in a pretty good place. And it was really, it's just because I'm doing all these different things with the gyro swipes and kind of obsessing over what makes them feel the most intuitive and natural like that that is feeling pretty good and then I still have I have gyro for my camera control so I can just quickly wimp flick down for my light and then also like you're holding the gun up to inspect it so the flick up for the inspect but in the settings for those wait there it goes I, just to see the chat change color <laughs> and yeah, well, uh, getting 20 FPS, he says. I'm getting 56, 54. The game runs good if you're by yourself somewhere. But, but anyways, so aside from just the showcasing, the uh, you know left stick left, I'm holding it. It's just a directional swipe. I was playing around with the uh, sensitivities. This I haven't really changed the rotation, but that would be something definitely like if you flick 
you know, at an angle like that, I seem to go pretty much where the defaults are. And I don't have anything towards the right yet. So that's kind of reserved for something. I have, I'm not sure yet. I think I originally had that be the Moby, but then it felt kind of more normal, more natural, like I keep saying, to flick down because it's on his wrist. So it's like, you know, you're, you're flicking down to close it. And then it's really just using the same settings on this RB hold. Got flick up to inspect, chat, wipe visor, flashlight. Didn't really mess around. Took the sensitivity down a little bit from the default. No scroll wheel, because these are just single actions. And then I just make sure I put I put medium haptics just so I feel a nice little thump. So I know that something should have been happening. Ooh, this will be a cool view. Let's see what this looks like. Well. <laughs> Ooh. He's I'm getting sweaty. Oh, I need to wipe wipe my wipe my face off. But all right, I'm getting caught in a storm again. That's really it. I just wanted to go over some of that. Just not so much a tutorial, just to show how I'm using them. Because I know some, I know at least a couple people are struggling with getting them to fire correctly. Just a little jerk up for the gyro, and then for the swipes. You know, I would usually go, if it's a swipe to the left, go right of center and then swipe across. But it doesn't require a full swipe on the pad. You can change the sensitivity for that. Okay, holy crap, that's it. Now I am just purely rambling. What What's going on there? Is my ship damaged? Okay, it only took me like half an hour to find that spot. Every place I kept going, it was nighttime. Or like a super bad storm. Now it'll just take me an hour to get back to a space station. It's a really cool game, but uh, things take a little bit of time to do. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Holy crap. This is like rambling, long droning the video game. I think I might be onto something. That's probably why I like it so much. Get so detailed with little... Plump, juicy wieners are dipped in a thick, golden, southern-style corn batter that seals in all their freshness and flavor. If you like hot dogs, you love corn dogs. Everybody does. Try a corn dog with your favorite beverage. At the refreshment corner now. Corn dogs. <laughs>